Hello guys, welcome back to today's video. Today I'm going to talk about how to get into Trulu Long Korean University, which is a question that you've been asking both in YouTube and Instagram. So I said, why not make a video about it? So this regarding of the faculty you want to go to and the major you want to study and the degree you want to get, the main process of applying is the same for all the faculties. So today I'm going to show you the place where you can get the right information about the faculty you want to go to, all the requirements and all the forms, when you need to apply, how to apply, where to go, who to talk, who to ask questions, everything. And then I'm going to walk you through an example of ISE, which is a faculty I'm at, to like show you how is it like to get all the info from the website that I'm going to tell you because obviously ISC is the only one that I'm familiar with specifically. So if that seems like something helpful, please consider subscribing and shall we? Okay, after you click on the first link on the description box down below, you will be led to this website, which you can get the information of all the majors in bachelor, master or PhD level that are offered in English in Chul Long Korean University. So I highly recommend you check all the majors here in the degree category that you want to get to see if the major, specifically the major that you want to study is offered in English in Chul. If the major you want to study is not listed in this website, Chul Long Korean University doesn't offer this major in English. <gasps> Okay, so from now on, as a walkthrough example, I'm gonna assume that you want to study the major I'm studying right now, which is Robotics and Artificial Intelligence. But please note that if you want to find the same information about any major listed on this website, you just gotta need to click on the major you want to study and go through the same steps as I walk through this example with you, okay? So basically, we are going to choose Bachelor and scroll down till we get to Robotics and Artificial Intelligence. And you can see that you can jump to Overview, Career Opportunities, Admission, and Contact Info. So you can get basic information about admission here, which like what are the requirements and what are you going to have, but it doesn't have all the possibilities. For example, the way that I applied was the portfolio option, which was offered in ISE, which is not listed here. So to get all the information, you're going to go over to the top and press on contact info. So after you click on contact, you can access the main website of the faculty their Facebook, their telephone number, and also their specific email for this specific peculiarity, for this specific major, okay? So guys, you need to consider while applying to Chula, there are many faculties. The mistake I was making while applying was that like, I would go through Google and let's do it for a second. I would search Long Cord university and I would press on contact and I'll be super excited that I found oh my god I found the contact infos wrong okay these are not the contact infos you want to contact I emailed all of them none of them answered me and the thing is that that was my mistake because they are not in charge of what I was asking them so the thing you want to do is to go to this website, which I told you I link it on the description, choose your major, click on it, and find a specific info for that major and email this email only. And also you can have access to the Google Map location. So if you want to like see the place, and if you're like in Thailand and you want to go to the place, you can have the exact location of the place here. So let's go and visit the website. So when you click on that, you will be landed on the page of the main major website 
of the faculty you choose. And this is robotics and AI, which is a major I choose. So when you click on this icon, at the bottom, you can see these are all the majors offered in ISA. One of them is my major, but they also offer for other majors. So we were specifically landed on this page when we clicked on the link here, okay? Because I choose robotics and AI. If I choose nanoengineering, I would be landed on this page. So basically, you can get information about everything here, okay? You can get information about the curriculums, like how long will it take, what subjects you need to study in each semester till like the end of the four years, and also about the news and updates if there's anything going on, and everything. You can find any single information that you may need to apply to this faculty by its website and the email address, which you can ask question when you had any. We can get information about everything that we want, about student committee, history, faculties, applications, facilities, student clubs, tuition fees, scholarships, student events, internships, everything, okay? In each faculty's website, you can find all the information related to that faculty specifically. And in the next video, I'm going to talk about how to get scholarships. But the thing I want to mention is that scholarships offered in different faculties in Shula are different. Okay, so if you want to check what scholarships are offered in your faculty, you need to go to their website, just like I did and find the scholarship option and read through it to see what do they offer. Maybe one scholarship is offered in ISE, but is not offered in, I don't know, Faculty of Medicine. Or one scholarship is offered in Faculty of Architecture, which is not offered in ISE. So please listen to my advice and go to this website, choose your major, and go to, through their website completely and read through the information that you need this is the place here where you're going to apply not any other website i used to apply to wrong websites okay this is the only website not not this specifically like the main website of your major that is listed on this page is going to be the main website that you're going to apply through you're going to get news updates and whatever is specific to your faculty that is happening. So to be more detailed, let's go through international applicants. So here you can see admission criteria, all the tuition fees, scholarships offered for international students. You need to note that in Chua Long Korn University, not all the scholarships are offered for foreigners. So maybe a Thai person in your major is able to get a scholarship that is not even offered for internationals. So you really need to check this for international applicants specifically. And you can get all the information, all the information that you're going to need and how much you need to pay per semester for each year, for different like times of the like summer semester and like industrial training. In my faculty, there is an industrial training. That's why we have this option. So as for the admission, I applied through portfolio option, which I told you was offered in ISE for international students. And this is something I'm going to walk you through on the next video. Hopefully you now know where to go to find the right information where to find the contact information, where to find the requirements, who to talk to, who to ask questions, where to get news, and right place to apply. But the thing you don't know yet is how to apply, which I'm going to talk about in the next video, which I'm going to walk you through the specific form that you need to fill in which is seven parts, and I'm going to go through detail for each of them and give you all the tips that I possibly can give you to be able to get the scholarships. 
So if that's something you would like to know, I highly encourage you to look at the next video. Then I'll link it at the top right corner. And that's it. Thank you for bringing this to so far. And if this video was helpful, please consider subscribing to this channel. I would really appreciate it. You would know that, right? So yeah. See you.